I really like Python, I've started using it recently, and this is kind of hard to look at. Of course, you know, C is the fastest, there's no escaping that. C++ is also pretty fast. Rust is doing really well. C Sharp is fourth? No, it's sixth, but still pretty good. But look where Python is. Python is dead last and it's super slow. Yet so many people use it and so many people love it. Don't look at it, Alex. Don't look at it. <laughs> What is this? Uh, this is the Computer Language Benchmarks Game Visualization. And if you've followed this channel at all for the last couple years, I've used Benchmarks Game, this right here. Which programming language is fastest? So they do measurements, they do algorithms written in different languages. And one that I commonly do is this Mandelbrot test because, well, I test CPUs here a lot of the times. And this one happens to be a good multi-core CPU test because it really loads up those CPUs pretty good. Anyway, that's not related to what we're doing today. Day, just looking at this languages and the speed of them. I kind of knew that Python was uh, on the slow side, but I didn't know how slow, especially when compared to Node and uh, JavaScript. So Node is up here. It's 17th out of the 28th here. 28, I think. Yeah, there's 28 languages here. Uh, two of these, by the way, are not part of Benchmark's game, which are PyPy. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've never used these. PyPy and Piston, or is it Python? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But these two are basically something the author of the visualization inserted. They're Python JIT interpreters, a way to make Python faster. Here's the repository in case you're interested. Uh, this is the interactive visualization. Really, there's only one button you can press and it just displays or just go to the repository directly. It goes into some technical detail about what's going on here. It says, take it with a grain of salt. It's not a rigorous performance test or scientific, but it gives you an idea of where the languages fall generally. And it talks about the time consumption here, which is this gray bar in the bar chart. This is a figure reflects the time efficiency directly. As an example, C++ is shown as 1x, while C sharp is shown as 2x. Yep, uh, 1x and, uh, and 2x, 2.17. So it's everything is relative to uh, C, I guess here. So in other words, whereas C will execute a given block of code or a given algorithm in a one unit of time and Python will do that same algorithm 72 times slower. Anyway, I've been looking at these numbers for quite a while now. Right on Benchmark's game, you can see the numbers that people are getting. But uh, it's nice that somebody made a visualization for it. And now you can have a link to it right down below. There you go. That's all for today, folks. I'll see you next time.